Okay, this problem might seem a little more challenging than the preceding, uh, but it really isn't once you understand the scheme. Uh, but there are a couple little twists that you got to be careful of. Okay, so you're talking about how far the thing travels. So we can say, of course, if acceleration is uniform, x of, z, x of t equals x of 0 plus v of 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. Now we don't know what x of 0 is. We don't know what v of 0 is. We can set any coordinate system we want to on this situation. So we could say we can make the simplest assumption that x of 0 equals 0. And what do we know? Our information tells us that x of 10 seconds equals 12 meters and x of 16 seconds equals 24 meters because of course time starts whenever time starts. Um, so at the 10 second mark, we're 12 meters. Six seconds later, we're at 24 meters, which is uh, the next 12 meters. Okay, so uh, that means at 16 seconds, we're 24 meters. Okay. Well, now all we have to do is say, okay, well then, 12 meters is x of 10 seconds. x of zero is zero, so we have 12 meters equals v of zero times 10 seconds plus one half a times 10 seconds quantity squared. 24 meters equals v of zero times 16 seconds plus one half a times 16 seconds quantity squared. Once more, we have two simultaneous equations. You have the uh, unknown quantities v of 0 and a. So we just solve for v of 0 and a using whichever method uh, you prefer. Now, that's all I'm going to say. Of course, if you have trouble with a problem of this nature, get this far, say, I don't know what I'm doing, I'll be glad to explain further. Um, but my strategy uh, for solving this problem uh, might be to, first of all, expand these. Let's go ahead and write out the equation as it's going to be. you got 12 meters equals v of 0 times 10 seconds plus 1 half a times the square of 10 seconds. That will be 100 seconds squared. And 24 meters equals v of 0 times 16 seconds plus 1 half a times the square of 16 seconds. 256 seconds squared. If we reduce this just to the numbers after having checked the units, and we see that um, if we multiply a velocity in meters per second times seconds, we're going to end up with meters, so the dimensions here are going to be okay. Acceleration being in meters per second squared, when multiplied by second squared, we're going to get, again, uh, meters. So the dimensions are going to work. So we can get a little sloppy.
I prefer you actually carry the calculation out with the units. I don't like leaving the units off. It's a habit that engineers get into and often causes problems because they don't go through the step of checking out the units carefully, checking out the dimensions carefully before doing this. Get ridiculous results. Um, engineers probably don't, but engineering students do, and it makes life more difficult for them. Okay? So there are a couple of uh, alternatives uh, in doing this. Um, the ratio of 16 to 10 is the ratio of 5 to 3. So you can multiply this equation by negative 5 and this one by 3. And then when you add the resulting equation, the V of 0 term will go away and you'll have A. Alternatively, you could say solve this for V of 0. Okay, you'd subtract 50A from both sides and divide by 10. And whatever expression you get, plug it in here. There won't be any A left. Um, and, I'm sorry, there, yeah, sorry, if you're solving for A, is that what I said? I don't even remember what I said. Okay, yep. If you want to solve for B of zero, you can subtract 50A from both sides, divide by 10. That is what I said. That gives you a solution for A. You plug it in for A, that A is not going to be there anymore because you expressed A here in terms of B of zero. And of course, this is something you would have learned uh, long ago in an algebra course. Okay, uh, so it's very easy to solve this and then to make sense of it. And I want to talk a little bit more about making sense of these because what we're doing is we're just reducing the physics problem to mathematics. It doesn't necessarily give you a lot of insight into the nature of uniform accelerated, uniformly accelerated motion or into the motion of the thing that you're trying to analyze. 